Charlie does not take their word for it. He's just introduced a bill requiring the administration to declassify intelligence to tell us what they know about the Wuhan lab. And why wouldn't they? Senator Hawley joins us now. Senator, thanks so much for coming on. There doesn't seem to be any forthcoming answer on why the administration would cancel an investigation into the central question of our age, of the generation, of this moment in history. Where'd this come from? Why did they cancel it? You know, I don't know why they canceled it, Tucker, except for maybe they didn't want the answer. And that's why I think it is time that we force the intelligence community to declassify what they know about the origins of COVID-19. We know that the, all of our intelligence agencies, and there's a bunch of them, Tucker, as you know, they have done all kinds of assessments. They've done research. They've reached some conclusions, or at least they've got some ideas. I think the American people deserve to see that intelligence. I mean, why should we take Joe Biden's word for it? We ought to be able to see for ourselves, and that's what my legislation would do. So you're a sitting member of Congress, your senator, one of 100. In our system, you are powerful. Are you permitted to see this information? We are permitted to see some of the classified uh, summaries, Tucker, about what the intelligence community has concluded. And my view is, is that everybody ought to see that. We ought to make that available to the American people so they can see where our different intelligence agencies have come down on this and also what our intelligence agencies have been doing for the last year. And so we can see for ourselves and, and draw our own conclusions. I think it's vital to get more information out there. We ought to force the transparency here. I mean, more information is good. So let's put it out there and let the American people see it. I hope that in the midst of this, what is a political debate and, and partisan to some extent, we don't lose sight of the fact that there is an incredibly dangerous variety of so-called science going on, gain-of-function experiments, that may produce some theoretical benefit. They certainly expose the world to a lot of real danger. Why are we continuing to fund that, and can we stop it? Well, we need to stop it, and particularly, we've got to think about the fact that the United States government was helping fund institutes like the Wuhan Institute to do this kind of research that you're talking about, Tucker. And, you know, was this ever a good idea? It doesn't seem like it. Right. Uh, so we need, we need to hold people accountable who made those decisions. And then we've got to think about going forward, is this something that we really should be doing? I don't think so. No, it's insanity. Another example of us playing God doesn't end well, ever. Senator Hawley, appreciate it. Thanks so much. Thank you.